Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to find the acceleration from a velocity time graph. And the velocity time graph is going to be non-linear, so it's going to be a curved graph. Now to do this you need to do a tangent at the point on the graph you're finding the acceleration. A tangent is a line which just touches the edge of the curve at that point. Okay, so let's have a look at the first example then. So we're going to find the acceleration at t equals 10 seconds. So our time is along the bottom. So that's 10 seconds. So if we put a little dot on our curve at 10. So we need to do a tangent at this point here. So you need to get your ruler. So we need to do a straight line just touching the edge of the curve at that point. There will be a little bit of a margin of error on the mark scheme for this. Um, so it's not going to be spot on. Okay, so there is our tangent. So the gradient of this tangent will be the acceleration. So to get your gradient, you would just need to turn it into a right angled triangle, that straight line. I'm going to use the two points at the bottom and the top. So if we make our right angle triangle out of these two points, And to get the gradient, you do the height of the triangle and you divide it by the base of the triangle. So the height of the triangle goes from, it's 35 at the top and it's 5 there. So the height will be 35 take away 5, which is 30. And our base of our triangle goes from 0 up to 35. So that's 35 take away 0 which is 35. So to get our gradient, which is the same as the acceleration, so we do the height divided by the base. So the height of our triangle is 30, and we divide that by the base, which is 35. So I'm going to do this on a calculator, and let's do it to two decimal places. So 30 divided by 35, so we get 0 0.86 and it'd be meters per second squared. Another thing as well, check whether the uh, acceleration is positively, positive or negative. Okay, in this case it's a positive acceleration uh, because the gradient is positive. Okay, it's going upwards. So let's have a look at the second example. Okay, so we've got to find the acceleration at t equals 8 seconds. So again, we need to just find out the point on the graph where t equals 8. There's 8. So our point on the graph is here. So if we do... Oh, sorry, you can't see that, can you? So let's just move that up a bit. So uh, there's t equals 8. So our point on our graph is here. So if we do our tangent at this point here... Let's just touch in at that point there. Okay, so again we just need to find the gradient of this uh, straight line to find the acceleration. Um, okay, so again I'm going to use the two points at the bottom and the top to do our right angle triangle. So we need a line going down and across. Okay, so let's get the height of our triangle. So the height goes from 30 to 50. So if we go 50 take away 30 is 20. And our base goes from, t from 7 up to 10. So 10 take away 7 is 3. So again, to get our acceleration we just need to do 20 divided by 3 so 
Again, if I just do this on the calculator, it's two decimal places. So we're looking at 6.67, and that's meters per second squared. And another thing as well on this one, if you notice the line that was going downwards across your page, so it's a negative gradient and a negative acceleration. Okay, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.